the number of people in Florida infected with a variant strain of the virus is up. Earlier this month, four people in Palm Beach County died from the B117 variant, and tonight there is concern demand for the vaccine is declining. Shannon Chapman has decided she is not getting the COVID-19 vaccine. My initial thought when it comes to any vaccine before I would inject um, an unnatural substance, sometimes toxic substance in my body, is does it outweigh the risks? The Treasure Coast mom of two young boys says she's done her research on the vaccine and on the virus. In this particular instance, I believe that the virus has a high probability rate of survival. For most of the demographics, it's about 99.8% survivable. So, um, you know, I don't really feel like there's a need to put a vaccine in my body. Dr. Sita Lakshmi, medical director of Tampa General Hospital's Global Emerging Diseases Institute, oversees sequencing tests to identify and track COVID-19 variants. Since viruses mutate and camouflage, Dr. Lakshmi says sequencing detects the spread. It gives you kind of the edge on detecting what is happening to the virus, what different kind of mutations are circulating. Dr. Lakshmi says in order to beat the pandemic, we must stay one step ahead of the variants of any virus. For all the samples that we've sequenced, uh, B117, the UK variant, seemed to be the one that's most uh, frequent among the variants. Dr. Lakshmi believes the vaccines have worked well against the variants. The British variant is the most common in Florida and proven to be more transmissible. The good thing about the vaccines is that we know for the B117 variant and even the South African variant to a large extent that the mRNA vaccine, the Pfizer, Moderna are extremely, extremely effective in preventing infection and also preventing you from getting hospitalized. But Chapman remains yeah, hesitant. No, and that's also a consideration. I mean, why put something in your body now that's not going to be useful for a new variation of a virus? Still, Dr. Lakshmi insists the vaccine is our best line of defense as the virus mutates and more variants are discovered. In the race against the virus versus humans, vaccines are the ones that are gonna get us to the end. Um, so it's very important that that we vaccinate. And just last month, the White House announced it will allocate $1.7 billion in funding to help the CDC and states like Florida effectively track and combat COVID variants.